Look at that. That smells absolutely incredible. I mean, look at it. Bacon wrapped pasta. Why didn't we do this earlier? Mm. I'm Shui, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to cook bacon wrapped pasta. So, prepare to get excited. Yes, I said bacon wrapped pasta, because anything wrapped in bacon is better. Now just sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. The pasta we need for this meal is cannelloni tubes. But, first up, we need to make the filling. So into a large bowl, we'll add an even mix of pork and beef mince, and season that with salt and pepper, and some thyme and rosemary, some garlic powder, and some shredded cheese. And now we'll just mix up all the ingredients thoroughly, and then we're just gonna carefully stuff each cannelloni tube with our filling until they're all fully stuffed right the way through. Once they are all stuffed, wrap each cannelloni tube in one piece of streaky bacon, place on a baking rack that's on a tray. As always, just sit back and enjoy the video. The ingredients are listed in the description. Today, I'm gonna to be cooking with a 57 centimeter Weber kettle and I'm gonna be pairing it up with a couple of charcoal baskets because I wanna be cooking indirectly at 220 to 240 degrees Celsius today. And how I'll do this is by filling up the two charcoal baskets with briquettes. Then I'll dump them into the chimney. This just ensures I know I'm lighting enough fuel for my cook. I'll light that up and once that's all ashed over, I'll put my charcoal baskets in the center of the charcoal grate and I'll dump the fuel in. And then using an old pair of tongs, I'll just move the charcoal baskets to either side of the charcoal grate. I'll add a piece of smoking wood. Today, I'm going with sugar gum. I'll put the grill in place. I'll put the lid back on, making sure all the vents are wide open, and I'm gonna give that 10 minutes to warm up. 10 minutes is more than enough time for you to go and like this video. It helps me out a lot, costs you nothing, may make you feel awesome. You've got nothing to lose. The Weber has had 10 minutes to warm up, so it's time to get that pasta in there. So just place the whole tray in there. The tray is gonna give a little protection from the direct heat. And put the lid back on, making sure the vent is on the opposite side of the wood and it's over the other charcoal basket. And after 15 minutes, we're gonna spin that lid 180 degrees on the opposite side of the Weber just to make sure we get an even cook. Don't sit down just yet, we've got more work to do. It's time to make some sauce. So into a saucepan, we can add some chopped onion, and we're just gonna cook that until it softens up and becomes translucent. And if you cook anything like me, you'll forget to add the oil first. So put a little bit of that in there. After a couple of minutes, it should have started to brown up and caramelize. That's when you put your chopped garlic in. And we'll just stir that around for about 30 seconds to a minute. Now time to add the passata sauce. And now's a good time to add any fresh herbs you want to add. Now just stir this over a medium heat until it starts to simmer. Then all you want to do is give it a bit of a taste. And season with salt and pepper. Did you notice I said herbs and not herbs? That's because the H isn't silent. It's been 30 minutes now. That bacon's definitely taken on enough smoky flavor so we can get it out of the Weber now. Woohoo! look at that. But we aren't finished yet. We need to soften that pasta now. So into a pan, we need to put a little bit of that pasta sauce. Now we can just place the bacon enhanced cannelloni tubes on top of that sauce and then just top it with more of that sauce. Then just spread it out, making sure every piece of cannelloni is covered. And then this just needs a good topping of cheese. And just place that back in the Weber for another 30 minutes. Put the lid on and remember to turn it 180 degrees at the 15 minute mark to get that even cook. Hopefully by now you've subscribed to the channel and while you're there, hit that bell button. That bell button's gonna allow you to be notified every time I upload new content. Today, we're cooking with a high indirect heat of 220 to 240 degrees Celsius. And this cook all up is gonna take an hour. Or for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a two beer cook. Settle down, you knew going into this, not every cook was gonna be a 10 beer cook. While that's cooking away, it's a good time to chop up some fresh parsley to top it all off with once it's finished and slice up some nice rustic bread to soak up some of that sauce with. Did you know there's a Shuey's Facebook page and Instagram account? 
you do now. The cheese should have melted, the pasta should have softened, and our mouths should be salivating by now. Oh, look at that. That smells absolutely incredible. We'll top it off with some freshly chopped parsley and serve it up. The parsley is more for presentation. If you don't want it, don't add it. So why haven't you been wrapping your pasta in bacon? You will now because this takes the whole meal to another level. I mean, we all know bacon makes everything better. It just tastes that good. I mean, how good does that look? Wow. Now that should be illegal. I mean, look at it. Bacon wrapped pasta. Why didn't we do this earlier? Mm. As always, cheers for watching.